Hello guys, it's me once again and today I'm going to show you the start of my automatic badminton shuttle feeder. So I've got two brushless motors which run at the max current of 19 amps. I fixed them on a neat steel plate. So what you need to know about brushless motors is that they have a low torque but very high rotational speed. As you can see they have three cables because they need three phase alternative current. To be able to power them correctly we need some ESCs which stands for electronic speed control. So here you have the three phases and here we have the DC power supply. So this is basically transforming DC current into three phase alternative current. The yellow little wire is the command wire, the red little wire is a five volt supply and the brown is the ground. Okay, so that's my power supply, which is a 12 volt 50 amp beast, so 600 watts. Then I've got the little potentiometer, which enables me to regulate the speed of my motors. And last but not least, one of the most common controllers, the Arduino Uno. Besides the electronic components, I've got some aluminium profile, on which I will fix my components. And of course, two RC car wheels, which are going to be fixed on the motors and launch the shuttles. So I will power the Arduino directly from one of the ESCs, like so. Then I'm gonna connect the command wire to a digital port of the Arduino. Okay, the ESCs are connected. Now we have to connect the potentiometer. A potentiometer has three wires. One is the high voltage, one is the ground, and the one in the middle is the analog output. You can see I put the gray cable, so the high voltage to 3.3 volts, the black cable to the ground, and the white cable to the analog input A0. Okay guys, let's try it out. I didn't show you the code because it's still some ugly test code. At the end of the project, I'm gonna publish the code. Okay, that's it for the first part of this project. I hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button if you did so. If you want to join the tribe, hit the subscribe button and see you next time. Peace.